Hey, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for clicking into this video and giving you the chance. I really appreciate it. And I wanted to make this specifically for you and your clinic, right? Um, the reason why I do this is because I have noticed a huge gap in the aesthetic med spa and wellness industry so far that everyone partners up with a marketing agency, runs an ad, generates the leads and appointments, but they can't convert anything that they generate, right? And that's, the, that's a huge, huge, huge problem across a lot of the clinics that we work with. And even taking a deposit doesn't really help in a lot of the cases because the show rate is still extremely low. So how do we solve that problem? And how do we get more conversions so that you guys can get more high ticket and high paying clients for your packages and treatments and make more profit every single month and have that same high ticket, high package client as the loyal recurring customer every single month, right? So let's jump right into this. If you can just give me the next five, 10 minutes, right? I will answer all of your questions that you might have in terms of the title of this video, how to increase your clinic show rate without a deposit, and we'll go from there. And by the way, my name is Leo. I'm the founder of Closer. We are a sales agency. We're not a marketing agency, and we focus specifically on conversions and getting you to that ideal revenue mark and goal that you've been looking to hit, whether it's six figures, seven figures, eight figures, and above. That's our job to help you. So let's jump right into it. So how do we increase your clinic show rate without a deposit? Now, let me tell you the perspective that I'm coming at this issue from, right? A lot of the a lot of the time, like I mentioned, you know, even a deposit or some sort of down payment doesn't ensure that a client will show up to your clinic, right? And that comes again, it comes down to the value and the perceived likelihood of success with your treatment in your clinic and you know, I guess the the entire positioning of your clinic in this entire process, right? So how do we uh, how do we display your authority, improve your positioning, improve your offer, right? To increase the show rate, provide more value to your clients so that they in return can give you that value back and pay for those high ticket treatments, right? So the first thing that it comes down to is fixing your offer, right? So let me tell you a little bit more about what a bad offer looks like and what a good offer looks like. So with a bad offer, it probably is, you, know, you probably have experience doing this with a marketing agency. It's running an ad that has like a, some sort of discount percentage off a uh, certain treatment, right? So let's say for example, 60% off a Botox treatment, right? Now, what are the, some of the problems with that offer, right? Well, it's not competitive, right? It's the same as every other single clinic there is in the US or all around the world or in your specific location where you're where you're based right and it, it's just not it's not different and the thing that will attract those high quality clients has to be something different and exceptional right in fact this offer is likely to attract groupon clients so people who are just shopping around looking for the next best discount so there's no mu there's no value really attached to it. it's just about the offer and the discount and the coupon right it doesn't sound exclusive because it's the same as every other offer and finally, it has no bonuses, guarantees, scarcity, or urgency behind it, which is everything that we need behind an offer that is a high, highly profitable winning offer that's going to get you high quality clients that pay for your most expensive treatments and packages and services, right? Now, what does a good offer look like, right? Well, if we can, like, let's say we take that exact same Botox treatment that your clinic does and position it in a way where we call it an anti-wrinkle transformation package with a, compliment, with a complimentary consult and a free facial with only 10 spots available this month. Notice the difference in positioning in this and the wording as well. And now we've actually conveyed even more value with this type of positioning and wording it like this because now they're getting a complimentary consult and a free facial, right? They have only 10 spots to choose from for this month, that's how we should position it in terms of scarcity and urgency. And this is an anti-wrinkle transformation package, right? That sounds a little bit better than something that's just a, maybe a Botox, you know, a 10, units of, 10 units of Botox compared to an anti-wrinkle transformation package, right? So this is what we'd start off with. And the next thing is, this is unique to your brand, right? Now, the hard, the easy part's done. Now, what we have to get to is making your brand you know, congruent with how you're positioning your offer. How do we improve your positioning? How do we, you know, make sure that we can market ourselves correctly and get that person to show up into the clinic excited and ready without giving some sort of discount or, you know, some sort of, you know, sh shopping around group on offer for free or, so or to start off with in your ads, right? The next thing is you haven't started out with a price here, right? You haven't get given away the price. You've only given away free bonuses, right? With a certain amount of spots available. Again, when it comes to these bonuses, they are quick win bonuses, right? So one of the things that is high value about this offer and this package, 
right, in terms of high ticket treatments and, and high ticket clients is that they get a quick win out of this. They get a complimentary consult and a free facial. You can add some any any low cost treatment really. If I just went for the facial because this tends to be a low cost treatment among uh, multiple clinics, right? But they get a free facial alongside going with this package. So they already get a quick win, which, which makes them even more inclined to go with this package to begin with, right? Because again, if we can provide your clients more value, give, 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 right? We ask in return for them to buy this package, what they are more likely to do, right? If we are giving them this away for free. Then it converts scarcity and urgency by saying, we only have 10 spots available this month, right? So just by adding that to the offer, this makes it sound a lot more exclusive and a lot more interesting and attractive to a lot more buyers and potential clients out there that are looking for an anti-wrinkle transformation package, right? So now that we have an idea of what a good offer looks like and what we can apply for your clinic, right? Let's fix your reminders. Now, there are bad reminders, good reminders, and advanced reminders. This was meant to be gold, but this was the best I can do in terms of colors, but I, 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 get, I think you understand the point, right? So an example of bad reminders uh, is a very clinical approach. A lot of med spas and you know aesthetic clinics, they, they have reminders as if it's like a doctor's appointment, which it's not, right? It's a lot more than that, or at least we have to convey that it's a lot more than that because that's, what go that's what's gonna get us those high ticket clients. So if someone opts into an offer like this and they still get a bad reminder like this, and this is the only reminder that they get, literally, reminder, hi Lisa, please show up to your appointment 15 minutes early and make sure you bring your ID. Again, that's a very clinical approach and that's not, it's not personal, it's not building a relationship from the get-go. There's so many problems, right? So like I said, it's a clinical approach. It doesn't establish your authority. It's not helpful or insightful in terms of your previous work and what they should expect going to this, um, into this appointment. And it's not easy for them to find us, right? Because if you're in a physical location, if it's not telemedicine, right, they have to understand where to find you, how to get to your clinic, right? And you'd be surprised. As simple as it is to find a clinic out there on Google, right, people still have trouble with that, right? So we have to really dumb it down for prospects and not in a mean way. We just have to make sure that it's super easy for them to find us. Now, what's an example of good reminders? Well, as soon as the booking is made, we say, hey, Lisa, we saw that we claimed that you claimed a spot for our anti-wrinkle transformation package for 3 p.m. on September 30th. Our address is 101 Albert Road, just a fake address, right? And if you need to reschedule, please do it within 48 hours. We'll see you soon. So that's as soon as the booking is made to confirm that their spot is held. Then three days before the appointment, right, or just as that ideal timeline, we say, hey Lisa, we just wanted to share our Instagram page so you can hear a few insights from Dr. Jenna before your appointment. Check out at ABC Medspa, whatever your Instagram username is. Right now, what is this doing? We are building your brand, we are building your authority here because if we can redirect people to your content where it's high value and very educational and provides insights and it's very helpful, right, they are more likely to want to actually show up to your clinic and come in for the appointment because you provided more value up front. And now, you know, having that, you know, big doctor in your clinic in this message, it actually conveys more of that authority and, and builds more of that brand, if you understand what I mean. The next thing is two days before the appointment, we say, hey, Lisa, hope you got a few unique insights from Dr. Jenna yesterday from the Instagram page. Do you have any questions so far? So this is where we ask them for their feedback, any questions that they might have, and then any questions that they send from there, we can either send them a notification or manually respond through text, or uh, a receptionist or a virtual assistant, whoever you have there um, as a part of your clinic can answer that, you know, questions on behalf of, of your clinic and, and get that prospect to um, basically have all their questions answered and know everything going, going into this appointment. Next thing is, is one day before the appointment, we send, hey Lisa, before we see you for our appointment tomorrow, we thought we'd send over a few um, before and afters with some of our previous clients. Hope you find it valuable. So this is where you send them like a quick page outside of your Instagram, going through all of the testimonials and before and afters in terms of the anti-wrinkle transformation package or whatever that treatment would be, right? So that they have testimonials and other stories to go off of, right? So now, again, this goes back into um, being helpful, insightful, and 
you know, positioning yourself as the authority because your work is so good that so many people have come to you and seen amazing results. And that's what we want to convey throughout this process. And then finally, two hours before the appointment, we say, hey, Lisa, please click this link to find our address for today, www.address.com. You can add like a Google map directions link here. That's fine. We'll see you for your, we'll see you for your free consult and facial soon. Right. So this, you know, is again, reminding them of the bonus and everything that they're getting just by showing up and that makes them more inclined to do so. Right. So getting to the final advanced reminder process. Now this one is advanced for a reason. You'll understand why in just a few moments. So it's the same message in the beginning. As soon as the booking is made, we have a similar confirmation to this first one. The next thing is three days before the appointment. Hey Lisa, this is Dr. Jenna. I wanted to personally send you a tour of my clinic because we put a lot of work into making it a home for you. Here's the video. And then you attach the video, whatever it is. And it's like a, you know, a personal selfie video of you going around your clinic, around that renovated nice office that you've built out so far to make it you know, something that they're already getting comfortable and attuned with and you know, overall just setting the expectation like, you know, this is going to be the place that's a safe space for you in your home, right? This is how we want to make our prospects and clients feel. And this again is going to make them feel more inclined to come and and it seems like it's a more personal approach like hey this is dr jenna i wanted to personally send you a tour of my clinic right because i wanted to make it a home for you right so that is obviously changing the positioning and your authority throughout this process by leaps and bounds and the next thing is two days before the appointment you send you know like a silly selfie of you standing outside of your clinic pointing to the signage so right at the entrance and then you're like oh yep okay cool so I think you can understand it again, personalizes the process and makes it feel like you're manually sending it to them, right? And makes them again, feel more, uh, you know, significance, cared for, valued, and that makes them want to show up at your clinic because all of those things, if they can associate feeling better, um, you know, feeling cared for, not, you're not, like feeling like they're not just another number, but they're really just like that one-to-one -one client that you guys genuinely care about. If they can associate all of those things with your clinic, right? That's the, that, again, that's changing your positioning and your authority throughout the entire process by leaps and bounds and increases the chance of them showing up. Then one day before your appointment, this one is a huge one. Hey Lisa, before we see you for our appointment tomorrow, we were curious if you preferred our free facial or free skin peel. Again, two low cost treatments that I, you know, just came up with on the spot, right? But I think you can understand what I'm trying to do here. Here, we're actually trying to give them the freedom of choice between which bonus they want to receive as soon as they come in. Almost like an incentive, um, you know, for them to actually show up and be like, okay, cool. Which, you know, do you want A or B? And then from there, they make their option. And this we call like an ethical bribe because now we're, provid we're providing them more value and free bonuses, right? But in return, we're actually getting them to, we're, we're increasing the chances of them showing up at your clinic, right? And then after that, I'm um, still one day before your appointment. You say, great. In the meantime, please take a look at some of our clients' reviews um, and before and afters. Hope you find it valuable. Again, sending reviews and sharing testimonials and sharing before and afters is super, super valuable throughout this entire process. So if we can do that and plug that into your sales process, that would be amazing. And then finally, two hours before your appointment, same exact thing. Hey, Lisa, please click this link to find your address for today. We'll see you soon for our free consult and facial. Now, this again is going to make it easier for them to find you. But if you've, if you're able to apply everything that we covered into your sales process in your clinic today, as a part of the ads that you're running, as a part of the offer that you have in place right now, then that would be amazing, right? And you will see a two, three, four X, maybe even a 10 X and above return on investment because now you've, You've you've added you've added that probably one of the most crucial parts throughout this entire process, which is making them feel valued, improving your offer, building out a sales infrastructure and automated reminders that basically do all of the selling for you, right? And at the end of the day, we're making it easier for them to find us, value us, and want to show up to our clinic because of the new offers and everything that we have in place through this entire sales process. So. I hope you found this video valuable. Um, you know, I hope that you actually end up do applying it into your sales process. And if you feel like this is definitely something that you want to apply, but you wouldn't know how to, or you don't even know how to communicate this, right? Um, and, and you feel like, you know what, like maybe this does sound interesting. Let, let you know, I, I should look into this. 
um, book a call with me uh, after watching this video I'll, I'll drop the link I'll, I'll, I'll add it somewhere into this video so that you can access it and you can click a button or something and then book a call with me um, but yeah like you know again I hope you found this video valuable and just so you know like we're not a marketing agency as I mentioned earlier we specifically focus on the second puzzle piece of this process which is once the leads and appointments have been generated how do we now convert all of this traffic Right, so that's our job, that's our responsibility, and this is everything that we cover afterwards. Um, all the way you know, up until maybe even in-person selling um, and, and working with you guys on how, do we, how we can sell clients in clinic um, on high-ticket treatments easier. So again, hope you found this video valuable and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you.